let's begin so guys first of all we need to take the input from the user about the two numbers and the operator he wants to use for making the calculator with the help of java guys now remember suppose if someone inputs a wrong number or an invalid input then you can give it an error saying that your input is invalid but you can avoid the program from crashing we can do that using the try catch block all right you're going to use template returns so that we are able to substitute values or use like an f string in the string all right so now you're going to say your sum is okay and you're going to say dollar that means we get the variable you're going to say dollar now one okay plus no. Guys, do you think that this is gonna work? Well, no, because this is gonna give out string concatenation. But what do we want? We want the numbers to add up. So first, you have to convert the given numbers into a flotation. Point. Okay, so I'm gonna say num. I'm gonna say let num one underscore float equals to number dot parse float, and I'm gonna say num. Basically, it's gonna convert the string into a float. Okay. Now I'm gonna just do the same thing for num two. Num one underscore float, and I'm gonna write over here. All right. Now when we do it, we are gonna get the value. Guys, so now once you have made those numbers into floats, now you have to come here and replace both of these values with floats. All right, because you have to add or do the operation of the float. Right. Now we can just replicate this float float block four times, and then we can define different conditions for multiplication, division, and subtraction. All right, guys. So essentially, when you define the entire syntax, the program is going to look like this. First of all, you are going to say try catch block. Okay. Now we have added the number number. You have converted them into flotation point numbers. Okay, then you can say different conditions. Or for example, we are using four different that is plus, minus, product, and division. All right. And then respectively, you can just you just have to say the float numbers into plus, minus, multiply, or division. All right. The catch part if there is an error that occurs in the input, you are just going to show an alert that is invalid input. And after these two blocks are done, finally we are going to make the program show that thank you for playing our game. All right. Now if you want, you can test the program in any of the given browsers. I am just going to open up. Google Chrome as an example. So guys, as you can see, I have opened up Google Chrome. Now in the console, after I press Ctrl Shift I or Inspect, I can paste my code. Okay. Once I press on Enter, you can see it asks me for Enter number one. I can say let it be twelve point five. Enter number two, let me say two point five. I wanna say plus six. I'm getting the answer as fifteen. That's exactly the right answer. Okay. Now if you want, you can set the entire thing inside a loop. But for the demonstration purpose, we're gonna leave it like this. Now you're gonna again test the program with some other type of operation. If I say twelve. And I say number two is equal to two, and I say divide. It gives me that six. Get the idea. So guys, that basically teaches you how you can make your own calculator with the help of JavaScript. If you want to see more videos in the future regarding such amazing and interesting content, then don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until then, bye and have a good day.